People, deluded, I'm back again. Thank you very much for tuning back in each and every time. I can't lie, this is like my fourth take of this particular vid. I keep, I was about to say coughing, I keep sneezing. Now, for me, you know, this isn't a week of EFL football and it might seem like many people are like, ah, don't want to be in it. But for me, it's a chance to see some young players of teams as teams, I know with COVID and fitness, they might not. But typically, there's a lot of rotating and whatnot. City... Pep Guardiola's manager, manager Pep Guardiola of Manchester City said there'll be rotation. And I know Derby are in talks to sign Bobby Duncan from Florentina, but one man they lost, which they might, you know, rule rule in a couple of years, was obviously Liam Delap, son of obviously Rory Delap, the former Stoke lad. Um, I've got a lot of time for him. He's a player I've spoken about before. He's hardly an unknown player. You know, everybody knows about him on the on the youth circuit. He plays for Man City. Derby sign. He was signed from Derby. He's been on the bench at first team level. Maybe a lot of that's in relation to Sergio Aguero being injured. But I think he deserves it. He got a red card the other week and he can't play at 23's level, I believe, for a couple of games. But I like him a lot, man. He's been scoring goals for fun. You know, didn't he bag against Mansfield recently? Since he's been at City, he's been scoring some goals, some well-taken finishes. I'm actually sure he scored a decent goal against his former club, Derby. I really like him. The only thing I don't know if he's got a long throwing in like his dad, but from what I've seen of him, he can play with his back to goal. He relishes that. Um, he's got good technical level. He can link up play. He can play simple. Um, you know, he can carry a ball. He's got good finishing. You know, he knows which surface of his foot to try and finish an opportunity with. He is a natural finisher. I like aggressive forwards, innit? I always, like my manager on Sunday League, I said, you need to go and get an aggressive forward. I like it. I like that he's got that with him he's, and it can clearly go over edge like I didn't see the red card in the last few games but I know he's got a bit of a chip on his shoulder in a healthy way I like that about I like that about my strikers like he's on the physical thing he, he seems better when he's a bit aggressive and he's playing with a bit between his teeth and there's a point to prove or you know the centre half might be grabbing his shirt and it gets him going like he's, he's my sort of striker man he, he can link up he can do a lot man and at only 17 he, physically he's able to play men's football in my opinion not because he's big which he is he's about 6 foot 1 it's because he's the way he shields the ball the way he protects it the way he brings people in I genuinely feel sooner rather than later he needs to be exposed to first team somewhere um, and whatnot people and like I said I knew he scored against Derby because he bagged in the 3-3 draw against Derby earlier in the month and he scored twice in the EFL trophy um, as, as Man City's under 21s beat beat Mansfield um, he's, he's a good part man and obviously you know he's been doing his things for 23s but I remember a couple of years ago forgive me if I'm wrong at under 18s level Man City won that won the league and he was a part of that um, he is. He, you, when you look at when you look at Man City, they've got a good uh, for all the foreign players they have that are sick. They've got some very good homegrown ones. You know, they've got they've they've got him. They've got Joe Hodge. They've got some really underrated ones. They've got Tommy Doyle. They've got a couple of actual Manchester-born ones. I, I don't think he is obviously, but um, they've got a couple of British lads that. I don't know if they're going to make it at City because of the dynamics, but they're going to go off and have good careers elsewhere. Um, Man City have that in abundance, and I think I think Liam Delap is going to have a good career, man. And to be fair with you, it's interesting seeing Liam Delap, hearing about Josh Island, seeing um, Gio Reyna, hearing about Highland, you know, seeing people's sons become footballers now. Zidane's sons are playing ball. Like it's a bit weird. Like it's it's getting weird for me in my twenty five years of life really. I'm seeing players retire and become managers and their sons become footballers. And is this what you older fans that watch me saw happen? It's quite weird, isn't it? I've, the weirdest thing I used to see is people when I saw Sterling, like same age as me playing in the league, used to think, what the hell am I doing with my life? But there's nothing more to add, man. I think Liam De Liam Delap is a baller. I think he's got, you know, he could, his potential could take him as far as he wants. And I'm keen to see how he develops, man, and whatnot. But on that note, people, DG, I'm out.